Hey everybody, my name is Monsel and I'm with Neutropedia and today we're going to talk about nootropic study stacks. So guys, whether or not you are in school, in university, or just trying to learn a new skill or a new concept, nootropic study stacks can be really, really helpful. But first I want to give you three specific tips that are going to uh, get the foundations out of the way beforehand so that we can move into some specifics at the end of this video about what you can take to improve your mental performance. So guys, before we even get started, Started. three specific things. Number one, each brain is unique. Everybody is different and I'm going to give you some of my favorite recommendations at the end of this video, but they may not work for you and you have to be aware of that because my recipe, my specific plan isn't going to necessarily be the one that you have. So keep take everything with a grain of salt. Number two, nootropics are not supposed to replace your normal habits. So just because something like modafinil might be able to help you pull an all-nighter, it doesn't mean that that's a good idea. A lot of times when we pull all-nighters and we cram a lot of studying, it actually hurts our performance later on during exams, etc. Finally, number three is start with the foundations. If you're gonna be using nootropics, something as simple as fish oil like DHA and EPA or even creatine monohydrate can be really effective foundations that you can build upon in order to have better test results and study more effectively. So guys, when we take nootropics for studying, we're usually looking for two specific things. Number one is focus and concentration to have the uh, you know, willpower, motivation to stay focused on a specific task. And number two is memory and learning ability. So we spend that time working on a specific skill and hopefully we retain a lot of information. We learn these new skills. So guys, for the focus and concentration component, my simple suggestion would be something like caffeine plus L-theanine. Now, I use this effectively myself, but the reason I bring it up as a simple solution is it's a really great way for beginners to get started with nootropics. The combination of caffeine plus L-theanine has been very well studied, and if you use a one to two ratio of caffeine and L-theanine, it is proven to reduce many of the side effects like increased heart rate and blood pressure while improving the uh, attentiveness and focus and concentration. So this is a great simple beginner's tool for studying more effectively. Now for people who want to get a little bit more advanced with focus and concentration, it is possible to take something like modafinil or armodafinil. Now, I want to make some clear distinctions here. I don't promote using modafinil, but in very specific situations for studying, it can be effective. It will improve alertness, improve wakefulness, and definitely has advantage for concentration. But it's not a useful thing to take on a regular basis, and it does come with side effects. So one alternative that you can use uh, instead of Adderall, for example, is the modafinil class. Now I say this only because many people who are studying in colleges who just need to learn a new skill take Adderall and take these amphetamines and I'm really against these uh, usage of, of such high power drugs. Now modafinil is not a ton better, but it is a step in the right direction. So guys, if you're looking for improved memory formation and learning ability, a really good simple place to start is a combination of piracetam and choline. This has been studied numerous times. Both piracetam and choline are, are helpful for improving cholinergic function, but combined, they're more effective than either of them alone. So there seems to be a type of synergy. Now, a few notes on this very basic stack. One is, not not everybody finds the choline helpful. In fact, some people have an excess amount of choline and they don't actually need to take 
any choline supplements. And number two, if you're gonna take a choline supplement in addition to paracetam, I recommend you take CDP choline or alpha GPC as these are the most bioavailable, most effective sources of choline that you can. Now for those who want a more natural solution for improving memory, it's a good idea to take Bacopa monnieri. This is a natural Ayurvedic herb that's been used for thousands of years and it's actually one of the most well studied herbs that you can find because the Indian government has sponsored numerous tests on whether Bacopa can improve cognition. Most of the studies show that Bacopa improves memory formation and learning but over a longer period. So it might take over 8 to 12 weeks and I wouldn't suggest that you will feel anything from taking Bacopa. It's probably something that's going to have long-term benefits and if you are, for example, going into some type of educational program or you're just learning something new, and it might be a useful tool over a long-term period to use Bacopa Monieri. Also, uh, one thing to keep in mind, if you're gonna use Bacopa, find a specific extract specific brand such as Synapsa or Bacognize because they are standardized extracts that will be a lot safer and be free from heavy metals which can sometimes be a problem with some of the Ayurvedic herbs. Now for more advanced memory formation and learning ability I'm a really big fan of Centrophenoxine which is a cholinergic compound and it is a new uh, relatively unstudied but seemingly effective nootropic compound and if you combine it with something like Nupept for example it might be a really potent memory and learning enhancer as well. So guys for a lot of you it's a delicate balance because you want to improve your focus and concentration but you also want to improve learning ability and your memory. Now one of the specific nootropics that I really like to do both is called phenylparacetam and this is part of the racetam family, the extra phenyl group actually provides stimulating properties and piracetam and the entire family of drugs is obviously useful as a cholinergic that improves memory formation. Now guys, phenylparacetam is not something that you can take every day because it does build a tolerance quicker than caffeine even. So it's something to use very specifically and sparingly, but uh, for me, it is one of the most effective tools for both focus and concentration and creativity. And one of the reasons that I know this is because I did a brain QEEG uh, mapping of my brain and spoke with a neuroscientist when I did phenylparacetam. And he said that not only did it act like an ADHD medication in improving my focus and concentration, but it also gave me brain waves that were associated with flow states and creativity. Uh, so it also helps with the, the memory and learning centers of the brain as well. So anyway guys, I hope this has been useful. Many of these are very basic tools and tricks f as a nootropic study stack, but if you do want to learn more about phenylparacetam specifically, go ahead, click the link right here. You'll be taken to a Nootropedia page about phenylparacetam and my QEEG brain map. And I hope again it's been useful. Go ahead, subscribe, click the link right here, and I'll see you guys next time.